Good evening, and thank you for being here. I'd like to start by introducing one of our amazing art teachers who will get the ceremony started. It is my honor to introduce the senior leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance this evening. An advocate for democracy and change, respectful American citizen, community leader, and in case you didn't hear, national award-winning artist, Daniel Rivera. Please rise and join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Introduce the class of 2023 long standing president Samantha Rokir. Hello. To start, I would like to thank the families who are here today who have supported us throughout everything. To the parents who drove hours to every possible event, the stressful hairdos before dances and for pushing us to be better, even when we resisted. Without your love and support, who knows what would have been. Thank you for everything you do and done for us. Secondly, I'd like to thank the teachers. Thank you for being dedicated to improving our education and in turn our lives. Without you, we would literally not be here today. With today being the end of our time together, an apology is in order. The hours we spent on cool math themes in your classes was utterly shameful. Finally, to the class of 2023, thank you for making the high school experience one like none other. I truly cannot imagine growing up with a different group of people, for we have shaped each other into who we are today and to who we will be tomorrow. We have laughed, cried, cheered, argued, and studied together for about 14 years, including pre-K. What a time it has been. Thank you for the memories of my childhood. Today is the day that we graduate the class of 2023 leaves the halls of Berlin High School in search of bigger and better things, to find who we are and how we fit into society, in search of our callings, passions, and goals, whatever they may be. Some will leave and some will stay near Berlin, but today is the day we branch from each other. We will carry the mountain of pride in all of its values, integrity, strength, honesty, kindness, and loyalty in all aspects of our lives and know that wherever we go, and that whatever we do, there will always be a mountaineer. To conclude my speech today, I will not leave you with advice, for I'm in the same position as all of you. I do not know what lies ahead, what challenges we will face, and what successes we will have. I will say that not knowing is okay. But the future is a mystery, and each day becomes a little clearer. So congratulations to the class of 2023, and have a great life, and do great things. I would like to introduce our superintendent of our school, Mr. Dara. Good evening, students, parents, staff, and administrators. Thank you for being a part of this important ceremony. Seniors, today we celebrate not only your academic achievements, but also your perseverance. This year and the past three years have been challenging, and you have faced unexpected obstacles. Yet, you have shown remarkable resilience and determination to overcome these difficulties and reach this important milestone. 
In today's world of social media and immediate results, people, both students and adults, could lose the meaning of staying with something and working through a problem even when it takes a long time. But there is value in persevering. It took Thomas Edison 14 months to perfect the light bulb. He originally thought it would only take three months to do so. Edison also said many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. You may also have heard the formula, E equals MC squared. It took Einstein 10 years of working every day to come up with that formula. So, do not give up if you can't solve a problem the first time around, or if things don't work out right away. Keep on persevering. Perseverance is not just about pushing through when times are tough. It's also about having the courage to try new things, take risks, and learn from failure. Remember that failure is not the opposite of success, it's a part of the journey. Don't be afraid to fail, but use it as an opportunity to grow, learn, and improve. There is a saying in Japan, fall seven times and stand up eight. As you move forward, remember the lessons you've learned in the Berlin School District about perseverance. Life is full of challenges, but with hard work and determination, you can overcome anything. Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it is done. Believe in yourself, trust your instincts, and pursue your passions with all your heart. I'm going to leave you with a quote from Winston Churchill. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Never give up. Congratulations, graduates of 2023. You have shown us what it means to persevere, and we cannot wait to see what you will accomplish in the future. It is my honor to introduce the class of 2023 salutorian, Charles Brand. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to start by saying thank you to everyone who came today. Considering our usual class attendance of things, this chance pe many people is quite a surprise. This, despite that seemingly negative statement, this also highlights the positive aspects of our class. When something needs to be done, we always have pulled them together to make it happen. Whether it's helping each other on projects or pulling off our last minute senior prank, we make it happen. But that's aside from the point. I'm I'm sure I even made Miss Day nervous about with how close I got to the speeches deadline. Despite this worry we've caused our teachers as we approach our deadlines, we have always come on, out on top in the end. We have also overcome a lot of hardship as a class. In our freshman year, we were all promised some great two-week vacation, but then we were hit by something far worse. I think the COVID pandemic made many of us realize that maybe going to the school in person wasn't actually that bad. Even with such hardship, we overcame once more. Nothing could stop the progression of our class, even a worldwide pandemic. Plus, there was some benefits. I'm sure that all the work we did was very legitimate. We also got out of taking several regents exams. I'm here today to accept my advanced regents diploma while only having taken four regents exams. <laughs> By the way, Ms. Hayes, you still have some animals to dissect. We were definitely a very strange class, and I'm sure most of the teachers here will agree with that, me on that. But being strange isn't necessarily a bad thing. We were all very unique in our own pop personalities and how we looked. Whether we were simply just trying to get our work done and leave or steal every cone in the building, we all had our different motives for being here. 
Our differences made and wide range of personalities was what made things interesting here. Even the way we looked was different, but that was great because who wants to go to a copy and paste school? Having such a wide range of heights it made people very distinguishable when our class was all together in a group. I'd like to give one final thank you to my family and Mrs. Harrison for putting up all my stupid questions at the end of the year. But with that final statement, I'd like to welcome Elsie Corbett as our class of 2023 valedictorian. Um, thank you so much, Sam, for the warm welcome and to Charlie for the introduction. I want to start off by saying just how grateful I am to be here with all of you as we finally wrap up our high school careers. I know that it hasn't been easy for our class. We persevered through the pandemic and we lost our first two years of high school, but we also lost eight regions, which makes up for that. <laughs> I believe that a strength of our class is our ability to adapt to change. We learned how to do remote learning during the pandemic and went from paper tests to online exams in a matter of months. We navigated a changing school environment. No two years in a row did we have the same bell schedule. We adapted to changing administrations and merged sports. And as rocky as the merger was, it turned out many amazing athletes and a bunch of them are continuing their sports into college, which is really exciting. Um, personally, I feel I owe a lot of my academic to set success to the wonderful teachers and staff at this school. And I think the rest of my class can agree. For this year, I decided to participate in New Visions, and while that meant I wasn't at Berlin as much, I still received endless encouragement and support from every teacher here. To name just a few, Mr. Ellis and Mr. Koval were always around. I'm pretty sure I saw them, one or both of them, at least every day for the past four years, which is a good thing. Mr. Viner was also around, and he was a really good cross-country coach, and I'm grateful to him for making me love that sport more. Ms. Lamontine showed me what taking a college English class feels like, which was really hard, but I really enjoyed it. Um, and Ms. Day, who aside from teaching all of high school Spanish, also managed to have time to be our advisor and do 50 million other things. But finally, the people who impacted me the most are the science department as a whole. After taking biology in eighth grade with Ms. Hayes, I decided that science was my thing, and I'm excited to continue my life as part of the scientific community at RPI. These teachers allowed me to have a hands-on experience in the marine bio lab and ask a million questions during class. And I learned so much from them every year. And of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank my family. My mom was my first teacher and had me devouring books before I entered first grade. And my father first sparked my interest in science and has thoroughly encouraged my scientific curiosity my entire life. I am infinitely grateful to them and look forward to having them on my side in the future. So all in all, while I'll be sad to leave this place, I'm confident that I have been well prepared for my future studies, as have my entire class. I'm excited and comforted to know that even as an alumni, I will have the strong support net of the Berlin community behind me for the rest of my life. I am proud of this class for overcoming so much change, and I believe we are better for it. But this wouldn't be a real speech without a quote. So as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said, change takes courage. We have shown the courage to persist when the world changes around us. Now it is our turn to go out into the world and be the change. And finally, as RPI's motto goes, why not change the world? Thank you. Okay, um, I'd now like to invite my eighth grade algebra class up to the podium to introduce our commencement speaker. So before we welcome our speaker to the stage, I would first like to explain who we are and why we are all up here today. Way back in 2018, during our eighth grade school year, we were a part of a very special first period algebra class with the one and only Mr. Ellis. For some of us, this class was our first interaction with Mr. Ellis. Little did we know at the time how important Mr. Ellis would become to all of us. He was there to prepare us for one of our first Regents exams. As middle schoolers, he did a fantastic job. Mr. Ellis is now a high school math teacher here at Berlin. He started working for Berlin Central School District in 2014 after teaching at Catholic Central for three years, student teaching. He has taught eighth grade math and obviously our advanced Algebra One class. 
uh, ninth grade algebra one, general geometry, RTI math, and high school applied math, which this year turned into the college credited finite math, which is a pretty cool course, even though I didn't take it. <laughs> uh, he also has done a ton of work with the tech department, especially with Schoology. Uh, that's pretty impressive nine years here, wouldn't you say? Uh, now over to Elsie for a more in-depth look at Mr. Ellis. Um, Mr. Ellis is a local uh, and he's a community member. He grew up attending Tamarack until fourth grade, but from fifth grade on he attended Berlin. And he's an alumni here. He graduated in 2007. And now Riley's <laughs> Mr. Ellis was at Hudson Valley Community College for his first semester of college and then transferred to St. Rose. While in college, instead of living on campus, he stayed on camp. And we didn't understand this at the time, but he did this because he is financially responsible. And even though our 13-year-old self didn't really appreciate it, he really taught a lot of lessons about money. <laughs> and now to sale. <laughs> After Mr. Ellis graduated college, he began teaching his teaching career at Catholic Central. He taught there for a little while before returning to Berlin School District. Two years ago, he completed his Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts Certificate for Administration Program. Now to kids. <laughs> Outside of the classroom, Mr. Ellis is interested in plenty of things. This can include hunting, sports, specifically basketball, and many other sports things. <laughs> he also likes cooking and would often bring in, our bring in food for our class to eat. Through his passion for basketball, he also brought to our school the idea of open gyms, which have been utilized by many. His passions could even be considered the many things that he's involved with in school, including but not limited to our incredible student council led by him and his faithful sidekick, Mr. Colville. As busy as, the, as busy as he was this year, I could tell how much our lunch bunch mattered to him and how much it brightened his day. And you know, we had our student council trip too that I know he enjoyed. <laughs> now Nora. <laughs> so Mr. Ellis has meant a lot to a majority of us here tonight. For some of us, it was masterminds back in middle school, basketball, or sitting in his room having lunch. I think what stands out the most about Mr. Ellis is his nature to go above and beyond. Regardless of how busy his schedule was, he was always there for me, or anyone for that matter, to stop in and have a chat, to give advice, or just to listen to. Seeing his hard work and dedication is inspiring. He is kind, humble, and understanding. He taught us to stay curiouser and curiouser, to challenge the unknown, and to believe in ourselves. He is inspiring, admirable, and one of my personal heroes. So it is my honor to present to you tonight our commencement speaker, Mr. Ellis. So I really don't know how I'm going to top that. Thank you all. Uh, thank you to my former students for the kind words and introduction. I would also like to thank the entire class for selecting me as this year's graduation speaker. I have seen many graduating classes here at Berlin, but this one holds a special place in my heart. Now, for those of you who don't know me, you may recognize my voice from your child's eighth grade year. Yes, I was that annoying voice on the other side uh, of their math homework videos every single night. Sorry about that. Uh, my name, Nathan Ellis, uh, and I am now a high school math teacher, as everyone has said, department chair and district educational technology specialist here in Berlin. As most of you know, I wear many hats here in Berlin. I have taught, coached, advised, or mentored each of these students in some capacity over the last five years. I was here on this very stage just four short years ago as this same group of students moved on from eighth grade to high school. As the eighth grade team leader, I gave you some kind words of wisdom and congratulated you on moving on. That was a bit different as I knew the following year I would inevitably see you again. This moment just seems a little bit different though. Maybe it is just fate that I've been privileged to speak to you once again. As it was already stated, I too sat on this stage as a graduating senior in 2007 I have many fond memories of my experiences here in Berlin. I was even fortunate enough to have some of the same teachers that you had, but I'm not gonna name them, I promise. <laughs> I have and will always be proud of where I came from and as this place has truly shaped me into the person I am today. 
Anybody who knows me or has had me as a teacher, coach, advisor, or mentor has heard me preach about the importance of consistency and organization over the years. It is something that I tell students to do when they are completing a math problem, shooting a basketball, planning an event, or just completing any traditional task. In my high school math elective course, we talked about systems and how without consistency, you get a chaotic system. We explain that chaotic systems and chaos theory are unpredictable systems that we see in everyday life and point to all systems that are and aren't chaotic in nature. For example, the weather tonight is very chaotic in nature. Uh, hence, we are stuck here indoors because of a system that just can't organize itself with us. I pride myself on leading by example, being consistent and organized, and trying to instill that in each and every one of my students. Consistency is an important part of any system. However, in true Ellis fashion, I'm going to flip the script a little today. And I know that probably doesn't surprise many of you guys at all. The only thing constant in life is change. This quote was originally stated by Heraclitus, a Greek pre-Socratic philosopher. Trust me, I googled it, and if I'm wrong, I'm sure Raymond will find me afterwards and correct me once graduation is over. The first time I heard this quote was from a teacher that many of you have, and who was an amazing mentor for me over the early years here. When things seemed uncontrollable or chaotic, she would repeat this quote to me. I liked consistency and organization as a young teacher, and I could not stand the chaos and lots of change. She talked me through some chaotic times and would always remind me of this. While I don't think I appreciated it as much as I should have at the time, I've grown to understand and that change is not so bad after all. Over the past four or five years, this realization has helped me to understand and navigate through some of the most challenging years of all of our lives. So what is there that I have left to share with you as you depart Berlin? Well, while consistency is important, it is equally important to embrace change as you leave our school. We all too often teach consistency in our school system and leave out the importance of change. While change can be frustrating, difficult, and even frightening at times, it is a necessary part of life, whether we like it or not. How can you embrace both consistency and change at the same time? It may seem paradoxical to consider, but while consistency is truly important, change is equally important to all of your success. I encourage you to consider this as you move on to the next chapter of your lives. Think back to eighth grade, to our visits to UAlbany, Hudson Valley, the College of St. Rose, Siena, our field trips to the escape room, Five Wits, our giant mushroom house PBL at the end of the year, which I know not all of you were a big fan of. Still can't believe I didn't get fired for that one. Um, and all the endless movie nights, fundraisers, and other things that we participated in. That eighth grade year was just an amazing experience, and I know it's something we will all never forget. Think about all of the changes and challenges that you've endured as a class over your freshman and sophomore years. I can still remember our first event after COVID where the whole, I would say, almost all of the class came together and planned the first ever haunted trail on a cross country track. I think there might even be like tombstones or something still out there. I know we were supposed to clean them up, but they're there forever now. Uh, I could still, um, sorry, I lost my spot. Uh, the changes were all frustrating at the time, um, but, oop, sorry. Think back to our prom, after prom, and senior trip. Even with all the changes and challenges that we had to endure, we made it an amazing experience for all who attended. The changes were all frustrating at the time, but they were definitely worth it in the end. Remember all of the good times, whether it be lunch bunch, student council, open gyms, class events, dances, field trips, etc and hold on to your favorite times with your friends, coaches, mentors, teachers, family, and other important people in your life. Don't lose these memories because as much as they are the things that shape you as individuals, they are also the things that can get you through the toughest times. The only thing constant in life is change. As you move on to the future, remember all of the events that shaped you, hold on to them during those tough times, and use them to grow and become the amazing individuals we all know you can be. I want to leave you with one last task as you depart, and no, it is not a math video, I swear, I promise. I can still remember going to college, meeting new people, and them inevitably asking where I went to high school. I can't tell you how many chuckles, eye rolls, rude comments, etc., that I received after telling them I graduated from Berlin. As much as we all hate to admit it, there's just some sort of perception out there that we are just Berlin. When you leave here and embark on your next journey, you will likely hear that at some point. 
If you look around at many of your parents, teachers, coaches, and advisors, you may notice that many of us graduated from Berlin as well. None of us might have went on to be the next Nikola Tesla or Jeff Bezos, but I'm sure some of us had major impacts on you and your classmates' lives. If there is one thing you can do for me, for other former and future alumni, and most importantly for yourselves, it is to be proud of who you are, your accomplishments, and where you came from. You are all Berlin alumni after tonight. That is an exclusive and phenomenal group to be a part of. Not many people get to say that. Be proud of that. Be proud that you are Berlin. Take your experiences here. Be consistent, but also be open to change and to grow into the wonderful individuals we all know you are capable of becoming. <sighs> Sorry. I mentioned earlier that I credit this school with making me the person I am today. And this class holds a special place in my heart. Class of 2023, thank you so much for being my consistency in an ever-changing and chaotic profession and world. Berlin has not only helped shape me into the person I am today, but I can honestly say that because of students like you, it continues to do so. Thank you all again for the honor and privilege of selecting me as this year's graduation speaker. I will miss each and every one of you very much and wish you all nothing but the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. And now, on to Ray. So before, so before we all get our diplomas, it's important to look back and mention that without the support from so many of the, of the wonderful faculty and staff here at Berlin, none of us would be up here today. As a whole class, we are grateful for all of those who have helped us over the years, from pre-K to 12th grade. Special thanks to the business office and the buildings and grounds department the bus garage for ensuring the buses are safe and reliable for all students to use. Of course, some of the biggest thanks to the custodial staff and kitchen staff. The custodial staff for keeping our school clean and the kitchen staff for keeping our stomachs full. All of the different administrators over the years, both the former Berlin Elementary and Middle School High School PTOs, the newly formed district-wide PTO, the amazing BNL Booster Club, literally, the list goes on and on. Last, but certainly not least, to our own class advisors, Ms. Day and Mr. Ellis, two of the kindest, most compassionate people here at Berlin Central. Thank you for sacrificing so much of your time to be here with us. To you and all, other, all of the other faculty and staff at this school, know this, that without all of you, there would have been no way we could all be on the stage tonight. While you may not always realize it, we all truly appreciate the work you put in. So for one final time, thank you all so much for everything. We wish we could show our gratitude. I know, wait, wait. <laughs> we wish we could show our gratitude with gifts for everyone. If we could, we would. But there are a few folks we do want to recognize. Please come up. First and foremost, Mr. Ellis. Mrs. Heidi Collin. Mrs. Heidi Collin. What can we say? You have always done everything you could for us. Should they all come up or? Well, I, a picture maybe? Okay. Uh, Ms. Christy Colbertson, you need to be recognized for all the time you put in getting the Booster Club up and running and all of the hours you spent on fundraisers with so many athletes in this class. Please know how much we appreciate it. Ms. Andrea Beckwith, for never saying no when we needed meat for an event. And Mrs. Rachel Tretsky, for trying to attend every function taking a million amazing photos and continuously providing families with the most updated information possible.
Now, if I could have a few of my fellow classmates, Elsie, Nora, Cadence, and Sam. Yeah. Shorts. In here. Where are they? Okay. Let's see. What's this first one? So, Mr. Ellis, of course, is a math teacher, so we thought it would be funny, of course, to get him math shirts. <laughs> we got five of them. There is a fine line between the numerator and denominator. Uh, <laughs> only a fraction of And of course, Mr. Ellis is such a hunter, we got him a gift card to a hunting store. Okay, and now up, uh, please, Mrs. Brunel. Thank you. Good evening, and once again, congratulations to the class of 2023. I just have a few words to share as we're preparing to give out the diplomas. It is important to remember this time in your life. Relish in it and always remember where you come from and who helped you get there. Time only goes quicker the older you get. The time you've spent here on the BMHS campus will stay with you forever. The moments you've collected and the people you have spent most of this time with have helped shape who you are today. I would like to give a special shout out to your biggest advocates, your family. Thank you for raising such a wonderful group of graduates sitting before us. The future is bright. The next shout out is to all of our educators and school staff from pre-K through 12th grade. Thank you for your dedication and service to the graduating class of 2023 through the years. Each of you have so much to offer and it has been a joy to get to know each of you and watch your light shine in such a special way here at such a special place as Berlin Middle High School is. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this time in your lives. The faculty, staff, and administration are so proud of everything you have accomplished throughout your time within the Berlin Central School District. We know you are equipped and ready to venture out into the unknown with your heads held high to take, any, to take on any challenges that may arise. Before you begin your next chapter, here are five, five tidbits of advice as you enter into adulthood. Take it or leave it. Always advocate for what you need. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Remember that you are unique, a masterpiece, and priceless. Never believe anything less, despite what the world may say. Number three, focus on the positive. People like to compare themselves to others, especially on social media. Find contentment with who you are and what you have. Number four, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Who you are, who are you when no one is watching? That is called integrity. At the end of the day, it is how we treat people that matters. In the words of Maya Angelou, I've learned that people will forget what you said, forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And finally, put down your phone and be present. Live in the moment and enjoy the journey. As time goes on, you'll reflect back on these years and the people that helped shape you some you will lose contact with, others may be in your life forever. This is where you started, and this moment will always be frozen in time. But this is not the end, but the beginning. Each of you may be feeling anticipation, excitement, fear, nervousness, or something else about your future, and what time may bring in the days ahead. I challenge you to welcome the future with open arms and step boldly out into the world. You, our graduates, are worth more than you know, and we will continue to cheer you on and support you as you head into the next leg of your journey. 
Always remember that you are strong. You are resilient. You are brave. You are a mountaineer. Thank you and best wishes to each of you as you set forth to make your mark. Keep making us proud and go Mountaineers. At this time, I invite the board members who are going to hand out the diplomas to come forward. lights. <laughs> so thank you for being patient. It has been a couple of years since we've done this indoors. It's a little different. Ready? Remember what to do? Elsie Corbett. Charles J. Brand. Nora Collin. Cadence Church. <laughs> Hannah M. Mace. Sadie Rose Jamara. <laughs> Samantha Lynn Michelle Rohier. Hannah Catherine Yurden. <laughs> 
Gage Miles Willis. Annie Catherine Whedon. <laughs> Connor D. Snyder. Daniel S. Rivera. Uno, dos, tres. Riley Jane Smith. Rebecca Smith. <laughs> Alex Patrick Smith. Sarah Elizabeth Roy. <laughs> Sean M. Sams. Alex M. Reinhardt. <laughs> Kyle Steven Reinhardt. Aislinn Dixon Plouffe. <laughs> Thomas Hunt. Jaden Perkins. <laughs> Dominic 
Preston Lanahan. Mackenzie M. Kraus. <laughs> Rylan Jones. Daniel L. Hendricks. I hope that wasn't a challenge. <laughs> Gabriel L. Hart. Jalen Goodermo. <laughs> Jasmine Ann Gates. David Andrew Forrest. Aaron Catherine Farrell. Logan Dunlop. <laughs> Christian Lane Culbertson. Andrew, oh, I apologize. 
Kyle Andrew Duval. Andrew Chestnut. Evan Michael Crandall. Kayla Lee Canem. Caden Sydney Chapman. Ethan M. Butler. <laughs> Joseph Bouton. Shay Ronald Beer Beckwith. <laughs> Brady Benjamin Beckwith. Mara Beatties. <laughs> she said she was doing that. <laughs> Alden E. Barto. Thomas John Donald Doyle.
Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. As our graduates file, file back in, and before Mr. Dahara does his final task for this class, I do want to thank you all for being here this evening to recognize and honor our graduates. Thank you to our amazing buildings and grounds staff for all the extra effort to get everything ready for to this evening. To Bill Duran Company for their generous donation of all the beautiful flowers, and my former classmate, my classmate Michael Jones, for personally selecting which flowers to donate that, in my opinion, just scream Mountaineer pride. Our very own Amanda Hayes, class of 2009, and her crew that work together to make these beautiful flower arrangements. To Heidi Collin for being my runner this year. My whole graduation team, especially Mr. Paul Slaver and Mrs. Jen Burhans, who have been working on graduations with me for the past 12 years. And Amanda Hayes, who has taken over the role of organizing the diplomas. Mr. Zwack and Mrs. Beckwith for their participation tonight and every night that they donate their time as board members for this district. As I always say, it really does take a village, and we are so blessed to have such wonderful people in our community ready to help out where needed. And to you, the class of 2023, I wish you all the very best that life has to offer you. And I do believe that there are a lot of folks here that do not want you to become strangers. So please make it a point to stay in touch. And now, Mr. Dahara. All right, this is my favorite part of the ceremony because this is when you officially cross over into being graduates. So, it is my pleasure to present the class of 2023. Mrs. Brownell, in your time as the principal of Berlin Middle School High School, do you give your seal of approval for this group of seniors to be declared graduates? <laughs> That's a yes. Do you attest that to the best of your knowledge, they have completed all the requirements for graduation. Yes. Thank you. In that case, seniors, please rise. Please move your tassel from right to left. By the, authority, by the authority vested in me by the State of New York and the Board of Regents, I now declare that you are graduates of the Berlin Central School District. Let's do it one more time. Join me in congratulating the Berlin class of 2023. Welcome the senior chorus under the direction of Ms. Leslie Elischek to be followed by a selection from the high school band featuring senior Raymond Erickson.
And now I'd like to introduce Sadie Jamara, the class of 2023 Vice President. Hello. I know that although you are so happy to see us graduate, you all must be incredibly tired. So I will be keeping this final piece short and sweet. Plainly put, residing in Berlin's walls lives a spark, a spark that inspired me to become a teacher <laughs> and encouraged so many others to pursue their dream jobs after high school. This spark is not just one person or one moment. It is a collection of wonderful educators, amazing programs, and supportive peers, all of which pushed me to pursue my teaching dream. <laughs> Berlin provided me with an amazing out-of-district opportunity New Visions, which is a program that allowed me to participate in college classes of my choosing. I chose, of course, to participate in teaching, the teaching program with the encouragement from some amazing people back at Berlin. Without my role models like Mrs. LaMontagne, an English teacher, and Mr. Viner, a social studies teacher, who supported me while I discovered who I wanted to become, I would have never found my own niche. To my graduating classmates of 2023, I hope that Berlin Spark has served you well. I know it has for me. What the Spark was, an inter was the interesting people and teachers, a program like Questar and New Visions, or something else entirely, I hope that you have discovered your own niche. And maybe, like mine, it came directly from my opportunities at Berlin. Thank you everyone for coming to our ceremony and have a great rest of your evening. But before we go, if you would please rise and join us in singing the Berlin Soul song printed on the back of your program. <laughs> If I can ask you all to just wait until after the graduates have exited the auditorium, they will, you can pick them up in the gymnasium. Thank you again for coming. Congratulations, class of 2023.